Well, 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 well. Comfort. If you know you don't understand what I'm saying, then you can go. Who do you think you are in the first place? Huh? Who do you think you are? Okay, okay. Okay. Now, have I ever made such a request to you before? I can't come to your house, sir. And why? I'm a child of God. <laughs> and so? It's ungodly, sir. <laughs> ah, see you. A child of God. So it's ungodly to visit me. I can visit you, sir, but not in your house. I can't come to your house. You. You, you can't come to my house. <laughs> what makes you different from the others anyway? Just look at yourself. Look at yourself. Well, if you know you can't come to my house, then we shall see you on this campus. You can go. I said you can go! Leave my office! You said you were through with her. She just came here to mess up. Eh? Okay, sir. I've had you. Okay, sir. Okay. Bye okay, bye, sir. Okay, now well. Wow. Rosie, I don't need anybody to tell me that I'm tired, do. But I'm stressed out. Ah. We are sorry to disturb you. Please sit up. What's that? We only have a little discussion to meet with you. Sorry for waking you. No problem. What is it? Mr. Martin said you were so rude to him in his office this morning. I think you need to apologize to him. Excuse me, for what? Anyway, that's by the way. Uh, Comfort, a friend of ours will be marking a birthday party this weekend. And we would like you to attend the party with us. Party? Yes. Yes. Or oh, are you not interested? I'm very sorry. You girls are talking to the wrong person. I thought you girls wanted to say something more important. Will you be able to attend the party? Or do you have another appointment already? I have to be with my parents this weekend and my mom will be coming to pick me. So go and stop breastfeeding. <laughs> no miss pet. <laughs> oh, my but dear, I need you to. I need to see them. Comfort. We have been watching you for quite some time. You don't need to be a lone ranger. Remember, all work and no play makes comfort a dull girl. Mommy's April. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. But I was told that needles without thread gets lost easily. <laughs> oh, God. Who told you that? My mom. Baby girl, you better wake up. So many needles on this campus have lost their thread. And that is why such needles get lost easily. Are you talking to me? But Rosie, come to think of it. Are you not from a Christian home? And you told me that your father is an ordained pastor. And so? Rosalind, you are losing your thread. 
And if you're not careful, you will get lost. Baby guy! Great philosopher! <laughs> and you okay? Oh, Matthew chapter 7 verse 1 says, Thou shalt not judge. Leave me alone. I know what I'm doing. This is campus life. It is a free world, baby. Honey, you are welcome. Yes, sir. Thank you. Princess, princess. Daddy, I couldn't wait to see you. You are welcome. Thank you, Daddy. Welcome. How is your campus? Campus is fine. School is fine, Daddy. Your mommy told me that you sent for her. Yes. Hope there's no problem. No, Daddy, there's no problem. I just wanted to be with you this weekend. That's very good. Let's go inside. I could have brought her the market to fix some things. Now. Mommy, please, I'm hungry. I need to eat. Princess, what do you think about those ladies? Mommy, I think those ladies have joined themselves with some girls on campus who follow men around. And you said that uh, one of them is a pastor child. Yes. The child of a Pentecostal pastor. Mommy, she wears clothes on campus she wouldn't wear at home. Huh? You said there are two? Yes, Mommy. Kate. Kate too is from a Christian home. The child of a deacon. Hmm. Their lifestyle and conversation in the hostel reveals their backsliding state. Hmm. Many times they've invited me to go with them to parties, but I bluntly refuse them. Hmm. But mommy, what do you think I should do? Fine, my daughter. You have to be very careful with them. Hmm. Because evil communication corrupts a good manner. Hmm? Nowadays, coming from a Christian home is not a guarantee of personal encounter with Jesus. Yes, you are right. The word of God says in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 from verse 40 to 16. Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Mm -hmm. For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? What communion has light with darkness? This is the question you should always ask yourself. Okay? That is the word of God for you, my daughter. Thank you, Daddy. I, but I will really need the wisdom of God because these girls are my roommates in the same hostel. Hmm. We shall continue to pray for you. And anytime you need our advice or object prayer, just call me or your dad or phone. Yes, ma'am. Okay? Yes, ma'am. And there is another idea. You can't fight the battle alone over there. Daddy, I know. I know. Because the pressure over there on campus is so much. You will need the assistance and the covering of a strong Christian fellowship in your campus. Yes, Daddy. I'm already in one, sir. Okay. Then be, be fervent in the things of God in their midst. Then as time goes on, you'll be fitting to God's plan for your life in that campus. Yes, the fellowship will be a kind of coverage for you that staying alone. It has really been of help to many children of God or couples. Through it, 
they discover and fulfill the counsel of God for their lives. Hmm? Yes. And the Lord will see you through. Amen. 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 Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Mom. Daddy, thank you. Elizabeth! Yes, Mom. Please breathe the other still. Okay, Mom. in his house last weekend. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do to that? You're yeah, asking me. I'm going to meet him in his house tonight and I'm going to deal with him. I trust you. <laughs> Hello, girls. Hey. How you doing? I'm jelly baby. I'm baby. your Lulu. How you get You're looking good. I'll be oh. ah, what's what's up? Up now? <laughs> Levels. <laughs> well, you guys are looking you. bad as well. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Oh, comfort. You're welcome. I learned you went home. So I is mom and dad. Yeah, all fine. Thank you. Oh. Hmm. I hope by now you must have gotten a lovely reply to my request. Which request? Okay. Angela. Yes, I have already told you that I cannot be a part of you. Mm -hmm. I am on this campus for a purpose. Mm -hmm. For your information, I am not alone. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. That's wonderful. Oh. So you don't belong to a club on this campus. I beg again, just me, Jerry. Hmm? May I know that club? Hmm? I would actually love to know some of your members. Comfort. Relax. We are only trying to advise you. You see, you can't stay alone on this campus. You need people like us to move on with. Come on, baby. Girl. Wake her. up. Wake up. Eh? Ah. Comfort. Ah. Wake up, man. You have to wake up from your slumber. You've been sleeping for long, girl. Yeah? You have to wake up. Do the door yourself now. Hmm. Baby girl. Hmm. Having a man in your life in this campus is not a big deal. That's just it. You should count yourself lucky among others to be recognized and admired by Mr. Martins. <laughs> Abio, she does not even know what she's missing. Honestly speaking, you don't know what you are missing. My dearest friend, mm -hmm. that guy loves you very much. You know what? Mm -hmm. If only you know how to play your games very well, you will definitely enjoy him. Mm -hmm. I assure you that you will definitely enjoy that guy. Mm -hmm. Am I not speaking mm -hmm. in your mind? Yes. Angela, how are you doing? Please excuse me and can you get off my way? Uh -huh. Hey! <laughs> you don't wish like that. Hey, so you sending me out or you driving me off your bed because I just gave you a friendly advice. It's not your fault. Angela, do you know what? I'm not surprised at you at all. I only wonder at your friends who come from Christian homes. Uh -huh. I do not Are you talking you. to us? Hey, see me. I beg. I they go Patrick house. Are you serious? Uh -huh. 
I'm telling you. Come, 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 never here. Ah! This! Oh! Please! Yeah. Let me see. I will show you now. I'm done. Eh? Yeah. Comfort. Can you guess what is here? A letter. No. A result slip. No. Please just tell me what's inside. <sighs> Can you recognize this handwriting? Your name is even written on it. Who gave it to you? Mr. Martins. Our lecturer. Yes. It's just a token of love from him. He said you should keep it as part of your pocket money. What's the meaning of this? Are you luring me? Please keep this to yourself or take it back to him. I have enough for my needs. And besides, God is my source. You are foolish! Baby girl, why are you so thick-headed? When you are in Rome, you live like a Roman. Come on, girl. I want you to know there's no amount to have on you. That can be sufficient for you as a student on this campus. <laughs> Ladies, you miss it. My Bible teaches me that I should not follow the multitude to do evil. If I am in Rome, I will still maintain my citizenship. I know where to go when I'm in need. I don't need his offer. Can you say that before him? Of course. Why not? Did I request for it? It's all right. I will return it. Better. <clears throat> but I'm warning you, baby girl. You don't spend on lecturer stores on this campus. And you don't even have the guts to fight Mr. Martins. But I'm not fighting him. Then accept his offer. Never. What do you mean? You mean I should go to his house to visit him and sleep there? You mean I should throw away my Christian profession into the garbage bin and be a girlfriend to a lecturer? Do you know what? I can't stop being baffled why friends from Christian homes keep advising me to do ignoble things. Did it? Hey, shh. That's enough. Don't go to that direction at all. It's okay. Huh? I will return it. Yes, come in. Good afternoon, sir. Oh, afternoon. Sit down. Thank you, sir. I'm okay like this. Anyway, comfort. Why didn't you pick my call? Sir, it was already a missed call when I saw it. And when you eventually saw it? I didn't know it was your number, sir. Then how did you know that my call was a missed call? I'm sorry, sir. Well, apology accepted. Did your friend relate my message to you? Which message, sir? The money, the special message and this... Uh... Y yes, they did, but I returned them back to you. <laughs> and I take that as an insult. You returning my money back to me? Look, Comfort. I want you to know that I'm interested in you. And I want you to be my girl. Come on. Why don't you give it a second thought? Think about my proposal. Sir, there is nothing to think about. I have already told you that it cannot be possible. Why? 
Because I'm a child of God. Ah. And what has that got to do with this issue? Many things, sir. Others may be doing it, but I can't. Do you know who you are talking to? And do you realize that as a lecturer on this campus, I have the power to take whatever it is that I desire from you? <laughs> and besides, yes. I handle your most important course on this campus. God, please help me. This is a serious temptation. I don't desire to fail this course. I know, sir. Yes, yes, yes. What is it? I saw your missed call. Then go back and wait for the next call. And make sure you don't miss it this time. Lizzie, you heard me. <laughs> See what I mean? Those are needles that have lost their thread. Comfort. Whatever that statement means, the point is, you should count yourself lucky that I am interested in you. I mean, out of the so many other girls on this campus. Sir, I... Uh, Luke, I... comfort. I know you are a decent girl, and that's why I'm interested in you. Come on, girl. Look, let me assure you. In this course, you have no problem at all, as long as you are ready to play along with me. Hmm? Come on. No. I can't do this. You can't do this? Yes, sir. I don't want to sin against God. Come on, stop thinking like a child. I'm a child! I am a child of God! And then you are too weak and light-hearted. There are many girls on campus who are Christians too, and they still play along. We don't have the same purpose, and we are not heading to the same destination, so we cannot think the same way. Do you realize that I handle your most important course on this campus? I may fail your course, but I want to make heaven. Another party. Alumni reunion night. I left there at Central Hall. Do you know the main musician they called? No. <laughs> How can you know? When you are locked up inside a religious prison. I'll be hearing of Lemon X. I saw him this evening. I saw Randy Melo. Do you know her? No. She's a Nigerian from the Cross Rivers. The woman dances like Janet Jackson. Do you know eggs? Hey. Yes. Are you not from a Christian home? 
Didn't you say that your dad is an ordained deacon? And that you're part of the choir back at home? And so? Kate, do you go to parties at home? Why have you allowed the pressures of this place to overwhelm you? You have never for once joined a Christian fellowship on campus. You don't even want anyone to know that you are a child of God. And that is why you are going deeper and deeper into sin. Stop it. Kate, do your godly parents know that you go around with lecturers and boys? I said that's all right! But Kate, you know that the Bible says that. I said that's the love! What's wrong with you? I'm going out with boys, so what? I'm sleeping in lecturer's house. What's your business with that? Are you my parents or you pay for my school? Hmm. Never. Never you talk to me like that again. Never. Calm down. Kate. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. She talks as if she's my guardian. What's your business with my life? And where are you going? I'm going back to the hall. Comfort. What happened? Uh, it wasn't something so serious. I was just giving her a friendly counsel and she wasn't happy about it. Anyway, that's by the way. Comfort. You have an urgent message. Very, very urgent. Thanks. From where? It's very important, girl. Comfort. Please. Stay out of trouble on this campus. And what is this? That's my Bible. I take it to wherever I go. And you brought it there along with you? Wherever I go. Even to the kitchen? Even to the bedroom. Please, I'm hungry. I want to eat. Um, uh, baby, you know, it's rather unfortunate that I don't have any cooked food at home. But if you don't mind uh, bread and tea? Bread and tea? Is that what you take often? Uh, no, 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 no. At times I eat at eateries, and at times I manage to cook. And at times some campus ladies come around to cook food for you in your kitchen. Well, sometimes yes. Sometimes. I fear for you. You fear for me? Why did you say that? You can die any moment from now. I don't understand. Your beautiful land is left without a hedge. Your house is left without a fenced wall. And the doorway of your life is left open without a door. You are vulnerable to evil, danger, sorrow, incurable disease lifelong pain and death. You have not told me what exactly you are driving at. I have come tonight to share with you your pending sorrow, regret and also probably your death. Take me to your bedroom. Uh, uh, please, hold it. Uh, we have to talk. About what? You said I can die any moment from now and that my life is vulnerable. Please, sit down. Sit down and I explain what you mean. Mr. Martins, as you are now, you are no one's property. No one takes responsibility for your welfare and well-being. Uh, I'm a man. And I'm old enough to take care of myself. <laughs> but you are opened and unguided. 
and you're vulnerable to death. You are exposed and defenseless. Has it ever occurred to you that any of these ladies you have affairs with can plant sickness or death in your life? I... I... I, I don't think so. <laughs> and what gives you so much confidence? Do you know them? No, not really. But they are campus female students. That is how much you know about them. You have never cared if any of these ladies carry generational costs. You have never cared if any one of them harbor deadly disease which may never be manifested in those infected until sometimes later. You don't care if any one of them have been with ritualist men before coming to sleep with you on your bed. Or are you among those who think that some spiritual facts of life are fictional? You have never cared if any of these ladies you have conquered on your bed is half human, half ghost. You are less concerned if any of these ladies are demons from the forest or marine spirit who transforms to human at will. All you have ever cared about is the beauty. And the Bible says, beauty is deceitful. If you have ever slept with any of these ladies I mentioned, then you are a dead meat. Take me to your bedroom. I... I don't know. That is why I told you earlier that I have come here tonight to share with you in your pending sorrow and probably death. Because by the time you are through with me tonight, I will also be a partaker of your impending sorrow and imminent death. Take me to your bedroom. But why, why are you talking with so much assurance. Do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe the Bible contains the word of God? Or you are among those who think that the Bible is just a literature work from the hands of man? No. I believe in the Bible. And I believe it is sacred. And I believe it is the word of God. Then take this and read Proverbs chapter 6 from verse 27 to 33. That is the New Living Translation. Can a man scoop a flame into his lap and not have his clothes? catch on fire? Can he walk on hot coals and not blister his feet? So it is with a man who sleeps with another man's wife. He who embraces her will not go unpunished. Excuses might be found for a thief who steals because he is starving. But if he is caught, he must pay back seven times what he stole, even if he has to sell everything in his house. But the man who commits adultery is an outer fool, for he destroys himself. He will be wounded and disgraced. His shame will never be erased. His shame will never be erased. His shame will never be erased. 
You're taking fire into your bosom. You're walking on hot coals. You're living recklessly in adultery and fornication. And in essence, you are destroying your own soul. never be wiped away. Give me back my Bible. Will you be able to bear all these consequences when all of this come upon you like a flood? Never spoken to me this way before. Oh God. I'm stuck. I'm such a mess. What else? I don't even know what to say. Or even where to start. Oh God. You lay the foundation first before you start building. You start by accepting Jesus Christ who can forgive your sins and wash you from all unrighteousness. He will renew your life. He will make you whole again. He will make you a new creature. Oh God, I guess you are right. I'm such a dirty, stinking, wretched, filthy person. So, so unclean. Oh God. I've ruined. So many ladies' lives on this campus. Or rather, it has ruined my life. Why has it taken place long before I got to know the truth? Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of God, will restore you if you accept Him as your Lord and Savior. Please kneel down, let me lead you in prayers. 
God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I accept you into my life today. I accept you into my life today. Washing. You know, I have to deal with that guy. Hey, trust me now. Kate! <laughs> Kate! And they come! Come on, yes! And they come! Hey! You see this guy? Waiting! Hey! Comfy baby! Miss Essie, you. you are welcome. How was Mr. Yeah. Mattis? Was it Mr. Mattis you went to see? Let us finish our prayers. Hmm. <clears throat> now that your prayers are over, hmm. Tell us the good news. Did you apologize to him? Yes. He has forgiven me. The fight is over. <laughs> hey! Interesting. Eh? <laughs> Mr. Martins, forgiving you. The fight is over. <laughs> Just like that. Hello? What are we saying here? Baby girl, so you mean you went to him and you talked about it just like that? And he then said, Oh, confused child of God, go in peace. The Lord is with you. <laughs> Come on, baby girl, you're not talking to babies. <laughs> ah, ah. Hey. Ah. But is there anything impossible for the Lord to do? <laughs> <laughs> not so. <laughs> it's just that going to Mr. Martin's house in the evening mm -hmm. and calling back just like that. Mm. Without anything. Ah. It is like a dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go in the lion's day. I'm coming back alive. <laughs> <laughs> but what were you girls all expecting? Come on, baby girl. I want to ask a question, and promise you answer us yes or no. Hmm? Ask your question. Very good. Thank you, girl. My dearest and lovely comfort, as a child of God, and I know you will not lie to us all in this house of assembly. Hmm? Now, girl, did Mr. Martins touch you at all? Hmm? Did he? Come on, baby girl, answer yes or no. Did Mr. Martins touch you at all? Yes. Hey! I said yes. so! <laughs> Did it I? Mm. I'm not yet done. Hold on, girls. Question number two. Hmm. My lovely friend, please. Don't lie to your friends, eh? as you shall one day appear before the judgment throne of God. Hmm? Ask your question. <laughs> My dear friend, did Mr. Martins hold your hands at all? Did he, did he hold your hands? Hmm? Yes. Questions. Oh. Ah. Who 
for this a full hair, girls? Mr. Martins touched her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Martins held her hand. Yes. Girls, nobody is a fool here. Abio. We've got the message. Two plus two equals two. Twenty-two. <laughs> the good news is that you are welcome on board. Highly welcome. Yes, so that was just the starting point. We've told you it is the best option to move in the direction of the wind. Yes. You are welcome. You all are mistaken. You all missed the point. You all may be moving in the direction of the corrupt and ungodly wind on this campus. I am determined to run against the wind. Mm. It was not what all you all thought. Hello, sir. Yes, sir, I'm already in the hostel, sir. Comfort. I want to thank you for all you did for me this evening. No one had ever opened my eyes to all those truths. God really used your words to bring me back to my senses. Thank you. All glory to God, sir. I am particularly grateful for the salvation of Jesus Christ I received through you this evening. I just wonder why it took me so long to hear all this truth. I guess God must have seen that I had tarried too long in the dark. That was why he made you to come forth into my life, to my home. You're welcome, sir. Uh, please, comfort. Can I see you tomorrow in my office? I have some important things to discuss with you urgently. All right, sir. When should I come, sir? Um, let's make it 11 a.m. At least by then, I would have finished my first lectures. Thank you. Please, greetings to your friends. Once again, thank you. Good night. Good night, sir. What? Yeah? I, I can't just believe what I just heard. First time after three years, I miss Oiko. I miss my kids. 
But why hasn't anybody spoken to me the way that lady did? How do I right all the wrongs I've done to my wife? How do I warm myself back into her heart? so much of my own money on ladies that I never knew where they came from. God. I might have been poisoned by any one of them or entered into various unknown covenants or even shared in strange unknown causes that I never knew where they came from. But if not for the mercy of God, if not for the mercy of God that prevailed and saved me, God, I thank you. I'm very sorry, Lord. I'm very sorry for all the wrongs I've done. I'm really, really sorry. this campus as a fervent child of God dedicated in the things of God <laughs> but I so compromised my faith and blew up my good testimonies I resisted for a while and began to run against the fearsome, sinful wind of this campus. Briefly, for some moment, I later gave up my resistance and <laughs> began to move in the direction <laughs> of the prevailing sinful indulgence. Ah. I've sinned against my God and my godly parents <laughs> who are the ministers of the gospel. Ah. My life is a mess. A terrible mess. Ah. I've generated with boys. I have traveled to many places to attend parties. <laughs> I've given myself to various lustful pleasures. Rosie. <laughs> What 
comfort. I need your prayers. I've messed up my life. I've sinned against God. I'm a godly parent. I'm ashamed of myself. in my hands in many of holy things. Ah. <laughs> I need God mercy and forgiveness. <laughs> I've messed up my life. I've come down. It's okay. It's alright. <laughs> we'll pray together now. Comfort. Can you believe it? I've been on three different lecturers' bed. I've gone to meet two in hotel rooms. Not to talk of going out with boys. Ah! Cast away a truly repentant child. He will forgive you. It's okay, it's okay. Rosen, God will heal you. God will heal you. Okay? How be your papers? My papers have been fine. They've been fine. I have just cleaned up. And then I'll be through with 300 levels. But that's just by the way. Hmm. I've wasted a whole academic session in hospitals hmm. because I discarded the ways of God. I chose to walk in my own way. But Rosie, the Lord has chosen to preserve your life. In my agony of art, and total regret for my lustful ways of life on campus. I opened the Bible this morning that the Lord might speak to me. But the passage I opened to frightened me and make me cry even more. Which passage is that? It's show me. The book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28. I know that passage very well. It has a lot of promises in it. I read the old chapter until I got to verse 58 and 59. And I could go no further. If you do not carefully observe all the words of this law that are written in this book that you may fear this glorious and awesome name the lord your god then the lord will bring upon you and your descendants extraordinary plagues great and prolonged plagues and serious and prolonged sicknesses When I read the passage and I got to those verses this morning, I knew the Lord was telling me why I am in this situation. Other children of God might be passing through a test of faith, but mine is due to flagrant disobedience to his word. I threw his fear away on campus and I joined myself to a group of campus babes. I messed up my life. And as a child of God, 
I did not fear his glorious and awesome name. That is why he has brought upon me this serious and prolonged sickness. But he is merciful and gracious. He will be merciful unto me because I have come back to him. and I said my first place of call should be here. Uh, that's very good, that's very good. <laughs> I, uh, I was your journey. I hope it wasn't... Excellent. Oh, not really, not really. I came by flight, I didn't come by road. You know that's you like it very fast. That's good, that's good. By the way, where is Auntie? Uh, as usual, busy in our office. Office? At this time? In this house, our office is the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I got that, I got that, I got that. I'm good. going to tell my fiance to get me a big office in his new proposed apartment. Ah, that is good. <laughs> that reminds me. Right. I was like, is it going to be around for the Larry is already around. Do you know what? Yeah. Larry just got promoted as the new branch manager of a rapidly expanding company in Lagos. That is beautiful. You're going to see it tomorrow, right? Congratulations. <laughs> oh, who am I seeing? I do I am. I do I am. Go. <laughs> Auntie, you've not forgotten that. How can I forget? You know what? I did my own actuaria in Bakasi Peninsula. On the high sea? Yes. It was a bold adventure. <laughs> I was the only youth copper who chose to go and serve them. And it was so exciting. It was so beautiful and... Mm, wow! <laughs> Tell God that she came back to the mainland. Okay. Otherwise, she would have gotten herself stuck there uh -huh. and would adventure mind and then went on the way. <laughs> Will she be around for your graduation ceremony? She won't be able to make it. It will be too much for her. I called her before leaving Yula and she told me she's trying to seek readmission. Actually, she called me and told me that she'll be seeking a readmission back into the campus. Uncle, all over again? Yes. From 100 level again. Hi. That strange sickness held her for two years. That's bad. But the most important thing is that she's still alive. And I still believe God can do something great in her. Yes. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. And uh, comfort. Okay. When are we going to eat uh, rice and uh, turkey? Hmm? <laughs> Uncle, that will be tomorrow now. <laughs> no. You didn't get it. What my husband is trying to say is this. When we grow Larry come and carry you to his house. <laughs> 
<laughs> that to them. <laughs> that will be after youth service. We are thinking about that will be about six months time, and you know, preparations have begun. I can't wait. <laughs> then. I humbly apply to be among those that will sit on that table on that day. Hmm? <laughs> For sure! You have to be there.
well, 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 well. Comfort. If you know you don't understand what I'm saying, then you can go. Who do you think you are in the first place? Huh? Who do you think you are? Okay, okay. Okay. Now, have I ever made such a request to you before? I can't come to your house, sir. And why? I'm a child of God. <laughs> and so? It's ungodly, sir. <laughs> ah, see you. A child of God. So it's ungodly to visit me. Hmm? I can visit you, sir. But not in your house. I can't come to your house. You. You, you can't come to my house. <laughs> what makes you different from the others anyway? Hmm? Just look at yourself. Look at yourself. Well, if you know you can't come to my house, then we shall see you on this campus. You can go. To him in his office this morning. I think you need to apologize to him. Excuse me, for what? Anyway, that's by the way. Uh, Comfort, a friend of ours will be marking a birthday party this weekend. And we would like you to attend the party with us. Party? Yes. Yes. Or are you not interested? I'm very sorry. You girls are talking to the wrong person. I thought you girls wanted to say something more important. Will you be able to attend the party? Or you have another appointment already? I have to be with my parents this weekend and my mom will be coming to pick me. To go and stop breastfeeding. Mom Miss pet. My dear, I need you to. I need to see them. Comfort. We have been watching you for quite some time. You don't need to be a lone ranger. Remember, all work and no play makes comfort a dull girl. Mommy's April. <laughs> Thank you. But I was told that needles without thread gets lost easily. <laughs> oh God. Who told you that? My mom. Baby girl, you better wake up. So many. I said you can go. Leave my office. Yes, Rosalie. Yes, sir. What's the arrest for? I thought you said you were through with her. She just came here to mess up. Eh? Uh, okay, sir. I've heard you. Okay, sir. Okay. Bye okay, bye, sir. Okay, now, well. I don't need anybody to tell me that I'm tired, do. But I'm stressed out. Ah. Mm. Put the water in the fridge. Hello, Comfort. What is it? We are sorry to disturb you. Please sit up. What's that? We only have a little discussion to meet with you. Sorry for waking you. No problem. What is it? Mr. Marty said you were so rude.
Well.